Hello everybody, Sifter again with another backpack battle run. And today's run is going to try to be um in practically large sword run, to be honest. I really enjoy that weapon, and in my opinion, it's pretty busted. So let's try to get that going. Now I'm thinking about going for blueberries so we can build up the luck very fast. Let's do that. And I'm also specifically thinking about not having healing whatsoever. Like zero healing in this whole run. The idea being that I will not lose from a poison build. Because a lot of people are playing poison as far as I know. Wow, we found a cheap leather bag. Very nice. I'm not going to buy anything here. Let's go. We're just going to buy the leather bag. I try to be lucky with Impractical Arts Ruid. If I find a customer card, I should also buy that. As Impractical Arts Ruid is a legendary or whatever the final version is of the tiers. Which should obviously... Uh, make it uh, the highest possible to get with a customer card. We should be winning here. They don't have healing. We don't have healing. Unless they blocked us. I was about to say, unless they block us two or three times back to back, which almost happened there, we uh, we would have won. Nice. That was very lucky, by the way, that we fought a very early... Uh, what is it called? A ranger instead of a reaper. I still am really not excited about fighting ranger uh, reapers. Uh, leather bag. Let's buy that. Let's also buy a cheap warlock tusk. Let's also buy a banana. I said I'm not going to have healing whatsoever, but right now nobody has that anti-healing tech we found another combo here you know what this this happens pretty rarely so uh let's actually go into this let's let's go into a double double shovel fun right double shovel run uh because theoretically this should carry us for a couple of turns double shovel run and it's also gonna build up our economy now as i said i'm still sick most likely heard in the beginning <laughs> if that it didn't cut off my coughing i have a spike so theoretically we should be winning they have a banana we have a banana we both have healing shielding and whatnot and uh, oh they healed it's a race it's a race fatigue's coming in and we won very nice very nice let's cough and we found another healing herb cheap that's lucky honestly uh we're gonna buy this this and this because we need room mostly and honestly i think healing herb is better than pocket sand so let's sell this to get this once again because this is on sale we will be able to sell it back later for full price so no loss here uh, honestly, can I fit all these? I mean, we definitely can fit all these. Organize time. Okay, build's ready. Let's do this. Now, obviously, we're gonna have energy issues here, guaranteed. But if we burst them down in a sizable speed here, I mean, triple smack instantly should bring them down to half health. Exactly happened. And they do not have healing. So we have spikes. Theoretically, we should be winning from the fact alone that we have spikes and they don't have healing. That should on, on its own be a win. Nice. And now these are gonna combine. Therefore, we're gonna have a bit more, a bit less of an energy issue. I don't know why this was flipped. We found a nice little garlic. That was a decent drop. I want the banana to be min-maxed. I also found the buckler. Let's pull the dark speed. Pull them in. And definitely, definitely buy the buckler. This definitely fits as we do have enough room for it to fit. Let's roll into room maybe. Found an early goobert, but honestly goobert is irrelevant. I want to get a banana. As I said, I want to try it in practical large void. And the bananas, yes, have healing, but I want to combine them with the stamina potions. So um, there's that, I guess. Let's let's fit this, I guess. I mean, I don't need to reorganize time. We can just not min-max the banana for a round. Let's go. Once again, bananas are going to be combined with energy potions, so they're not going to be healing us. The reason why I don't want healing, as I said, is because I want to counter... Man, this is guy's lucky. Because I want to counter the, the, potion, the poison explosion build. <coughs> Those builds need you to heal. And if I don't heal at all whatsoever, they're not going to be able to do that. So that's the idea there. Uh, let's see how this can go. I mean, it's almost a race, but we have poison. They don't. We should be losing. I mean, it's still almost a draw. Oh, come on, man. It was so close at the end. But it's okay. Fair enough. It's a Reaper. Every Reaper fight's going to be a loss, as always. Uh, let's buy the Gloves of Haste for attack speed. Let's flip these around. I would say attack speed on my fruit is better than attack speed on my weapons. And Lump of Cold, 70% chance to do one more damage. Might as well put them in instead of selling them. I will buy Room. And I will buy another Banana. And now that I'm thinking about it, the banana should get the most attack speed once again. We need energy right now, so we have more DPS. Let's go. I'm still searching for the customer card. I mean, this theoretically should be a win just from the fact alone that I have a spike shield. And we have more DPS, and if I blind them enough, we should be winning. Now, they do have carrot, obviously, and they also have health potion. So they do have some pocket choices here. If I can get rid of the health potion really, nice. We have the same amount of regen. We have three spikes, they don't. We should be winning here. And with double banana, I have enough energy to have constant damage from the shovels. Nice, they have a lot of healing, but still, gone. Everybody's trying Excalibur, obviously. We found a steep, um, cheap stamina pack, that's nice. And we found a chipped sapphire, that's actually extremely lucky, because this is a chance to pierce health directly, and this is literally the one gemstone I care about. I mean, I also care about the yellow gemstones, but I'm not gonna go gemstones. 
Uh, let's roll him, I would say. Found the cheap piggy bank. Found the carrot and the blueberry. Uh, do I have enough for everything? No. Do I even have room for everything? I would say no. Uh, I'm gonna say let's buy the cheap piggy bank. It's also gonna combine with uh, luck so I can get more room. That's pretty important in my opinion. Uh, and also we're gonna have carrots in the first place. So yeah, piggy bank is gonna be important to have leveled up. Uh, how can I combine these? Well, first of all, not everything fits. Secondly, I think spike shield switch should stay. I think garlic should go and banana should join. And when I say banana, I mean carrot. <laughs> so it'd be like a banana. This is a banana. Uh, this can definitely go somewhere else. I guess I could sell these two. To buy the blueberry. I, I guess only one of them needs to be bought. And I definitely want to fit the piggy bank. You know what? This is a reorganized time if I ever see one. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna keep the garlic because as I said, we're not gonna be healing. But shielding is important. And now with the double blueberry, we should be building up luck a bit faster. Also having mana protects us from losing buffs. In case the opponents have any yellow, uh, any purple gems. Now this is a spear build. I don't think they have us. We have spikes, more spikes than them at least. They just drank their potion. Now they have more spikes than us. They have seven, but now they have one again. There is also, how much? This gives you three spikes. Okay. Uh, I just realized that you can create a crazy gin lamp explosion build. We won. Very nice. My build is pretty consistent here early game. We found a stone skin potion, which I could combine with the stone. Theoretically, this should be good. I mean, this fires twice the moment it fires, so I could combine this with an energy potion. We found the customer card that definitely is a good spot. You go like that, so it has a higher chance of giving us the thing, although right now it doesn't really matter. Uh, you know what I would even say? The mana is completely relevant right now, so we're gonna go with this. So this has a chance to remove the poison. Forget the stone. Should I go for the stone skin potion? These energy stamina packs are also not, most likely not gonna stay. Uh... I mean, maybe. I'm thinking about the potion explosion idea. That's my, my main concern here. The customer card is definitely going to stay on the rerolls. So this is getting sold. Sold. But now the stone is relevant. Let's actually start with the blindness and let's go. This is a very weird build right now. I'm not going to buy Torquilla yet. This is a 5 banana build. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can even do enough damage here to go through the banana power. I don't think we should be able to do that. This potion does nothing. I don't know why I have this in. I could have had pretty much anything else other than the potion. I didn't really think about it in time. I mean, maybe I'm gonna get enough garlic for this to fire. I need 20 shielding for that to fire, which is not gonna happen. Fatigue's kicking in. So who wins? My damage or their healing? We start gaining luck from the blueberries. Okay, so actually blueberries start being worth it now. Now that I'm thinking about it. And we also start getting power. That's nice. We obviously go with the piercing arrow. Of course, the predictable thing happened and we got double stone for the stone potion. That's my leather bag. And pull these, uh... How could I fit this? I guess you go here. And something like that. Double stone skin potion. Uh, this should go somewhere where it fires often. I guess here. Reorganize mini. And we definitely want the piercing arrow in this. If anything, I want the piercing arrow between those two. Let's buy this. And, uh... Oof. I will need to reorganize. Let's roll them first of all. Found the flute, found a gin lamp, found acorn collar. That's definitely gonna get bought. You know what? Forget the healing herb. Let's buy the acorn collar so we have more crits. And now let's do a reorganized time. Okay, I think we're good. And once again, this is never gonna fire. The sunscreen potion is never gonna fire. Uh, You know, now that I'm thinking about it, theoretically, theoretically this garlic fits. Theoretically. Practically, I don't know. I guess it fits here. If I remove the customer card, by definition, I have two room. So I should just do this. Go here. And then you guys come over here so you can get your combination going. You see, everything fits. And honestly, forget the pocket sand. I'm going to try to get my practical art sword by rolling into, uh, what is this called? Godly weapons with the customer card. Once again, we should theoretically have this. This is a double mana thirst build. Pretty early, if you ask me. Uh, they should destroy us, to be completely honest. They do maybe have mana issues. This 20 mana is going to hit us heavily. Yeah, here we go. That was a flip right there, ready to happen. If we heal enough, nah. They... Oh, double crit at the end. Luck is with us. Luck is with us. I found the pineapple for spikes. And we found the strong stones. We, push. we can sell this for five. This uh, gives us 25 shielding in the cost of health. I don't care about what it exactly does. I mainly care about the fact that it um, it's going to fire my other potions. That's what I care about. I would say you go here. Push this off so it gets more attack speed. 
Everything is still interconnected. There is no downside to that. Let's go here. This doesn't do anything. Here you go. Sand. A random stone. A poison stone. So when opponents attack us, they have a 20% chance to inflict point. No, no, no. We're gonna go here. Might as well do this there. So gain 5 shielding at the beginning of the fight. Do a corporate corp crystal. Not really. Let's roll into the sword. Starting with luck is important though, because I want the carrots to start firing faster. So let's buy luck. Okay, we found a Ripsom in sale and a Heroic Potion. Very nice. Heroic Potion guaranteed joints. This is literally what I want to find in the first place. We buy this and lock that. And uh, yeah, the time has come for those potions to start firing. So, uh, mini reorganized time. Okay, done. So, we're gonna start eating away my bananas. Because as I said, I don't want healing, like, at all. And right now, the only healing we have are the two bananas. If they are gone, we can no longer lose from poison enemies. Because poison needs you to lose life. Uh, to heal life. They, they have a bloodthorn, they should destroy us completely. They even have 50,000 regen, this is a very powerful build in general. And we are not really a build right now, as of this moment. Uh, maybe if this fires... No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we, we got destroyed. So then we found this word of a choice, and I also found heroic potion. So, time to transition the build away completely. So, both of those shovels are gonna be gone. We're gonna buy the Impractical Arts Sword now. Uh, now, this thing uh, fires every 5 seconds and spends 5 stamina. So, the idea is that this thing eats through my stamina, and then this says while, while you have 8 and power, decrease stamina usage to 3 and cool down to 3. So, uh, the idea is that this thing's gonna start firing very fast late game. Uh, let's buy another Heroic Potion. Very lucky that we found this. And now, uh, the build is a go, honestly. I would like this to multi-fire and this to be above everything. So, uh, let's do like a mini reorganize here. And uh, then the build is a go. Okay, back. Uh, you know what? Let's actually throw this lump of coal away to get this, so we don't reserve this for no reason. And, uh, yeah, I think we're pretty good here. The idea is that we want to uh, fire the piercing arrow. So this piercing arrow says that every time the green items activate, we gain 4% chance to gain luck. Now this piggy is gonna increase that to, I think, 50. And then uh, the weapon, which is connected, which is this one, is gonna have 3% more crit damage. And then we also have a higher icon, with a current color, we have a higher chance to crit. Now on this over, uh, side over here, the idea is that the, when the heroic potion fires, we get to stamina and gain one in power. And it also fires the other strong heroic potion right away. As far as I know, whatever you put in first from the inventory fires first. So something like that. And when this fires, it's gonna fire that. And this is gonna fire that. Honestly, I should flip these. So when this fires, it's gonna fire that. And this here is gonna give us, uh, take 15 life away and give us 35 health, uh, 35 shielding. And then because this is instantly gonna fire on itself, it's gonna also fire the above potion. Because this says when you have 20 shielding, it, it fires, right? So this fires that, and this fires itself, therefore firing the strong heroic potion, giving us a bunch of stamina and two energy. So the idea is we want to kill the opponent in two hits or three, right? Uh, so that's gonna happen in a couple of turns. Now we want to have as many gloves of face as possible. We want this thing to be the fastest attacking thing in the universe. And hopefully Jinx or kill us and whatnot, but gloves of face is better. Uh, this is a pretty bursty build too, so let's hope we're gonna smack him in two hits. We have 3-4 luck right now. We want to have 10 luck for a guaranteed crit chance. 92, one more hit and you're gone. Come on, smack him, come on. Yes, 110. Very nice, very nice. And now we no longer have <coughs> any healing whatsoever, so the opponent should not be able to poison us. We don't have healing, no healing in this whole build. Might as well buy this. Do I want the cup of resilience? Mm, nah, let's roll him. A shield of valor, though, I think is better than a spike shield, especially when it's on sale. Second in practical art sword. That could be a thing. Let's sell this. Let's buy this. I have done a run with a double in practical art sword. Go look that up. Man, I'm super coughing. Hopefully, everything set it out. Roll them. Uh, no healing. Now, banana, which I want to combine with another strong healing. Actually, forget that. I don't think we need more of these. We already have a lot. I just want to find more heroic potions, the simple ones. Found leather bag for room, might as well buy armor. And I would like to have a mana orb just to build up mana faster so that the blueberries start giving us energy faster. That's what I'm thinking here. Uh, not energy, luck. Yeah, let's do that. Let's start building up mana faster so we build up luck faster. In general, everything wants to be fast, fast, fast. And this attack speed can definitely be in min-max somewhere else, maybe in a carrot or something. This is a vampirism build. 101. 
We have four luck. And once again, I want to get 10. 43. Oh, no. Smack him on. Oh, we're dying. 119. One more hit and we win, by the way. Ah, come on, man. Fair enough. We need more attack speed. I found our stun skin potion. Not that useful. Found a jinx or kill up. So that's definitely going to give us attack speed. Uh, right here, it's only buffing one item. I think it should go here. Or even here. Not here. So let's reorganize these. Actually, let's push this over here. Now I can literally put the Torquilla wherever I want to. Nice. Let's also buy this. No, actually, no. Let's buy the Mana Orb so I can build up my luck faster. Uh, I would like it to be hitting the Torquilla if possible. Not really possible. I guess here is a decent spot. Hitting the Mana Potion obviously is useless. I don't know. By the way, the customer card is no longer needed. Here it hits the door killer. Here it hits two items at least. Yeah, customer card is not needed. Let's buy this. Once again, we want to find more strong heroic potions. Let's go. Uh, mostly want to buy gloves, honestly. Okay, this is an insane build. Tim plus a double bow weapon. Obviously, we hope to just smack him to death. Now, they will start stealing buffs away, which is pretty bad for us. Um, yeah. A 99. One more hit and we win. One more hit and we win. Nice. Nice. The good thing with the potions, by the way, is the moment you try to attack and you're out of energy, they just get drunk instantly. So it's not like you're gonna lose these out. Nice, I found our glove of face. So we just expedite everything, literally. Uh, that's literally what's gonna be happening. Just expedite um, what we do. Can I reorganize this better? I can definitely reorganize this better. Let's buy this. I'm gonna reorganize in a moment. Literally just everything. Nice, we found a potion belt. This is very important. I'm gonna reorganize the moment, as I said. Give me a second. Yeah, let's first buy and then we're gonna reorganize. No more of that. More carrots, yes, though. I want to get the power out of the blue. And let's actually do a reorganize time here. Okay, back. So, I put the mana orb in a better spot. In my opinion, at least. So, it's hitting three items. Uh, the Jinx Torquilla is hitting also a bunch of items. Specifically, I want to be hitting the carrots. And once again, we don't have healing whatsoever in the whole build. So if the opponent's a potion ex poison explosion build, it's not going to be able to do anything to us. We're completely countering a, a build that exists in the game. Well, this is not it. This is very bursty. This should destroy us. Unless we get enough luck to crit them. Uh, the whole idea, by the way, for us is to just crit three times. They got 92. One more crit and we win, by the way. 121. Gone. <laughs> gone. Gone. Two hits and you're gone, man. 121 there. Very nice. Let's go survival mode. I'm not sure how powerful this is in survival mode. We're going to try our best. Forget that. Roll him. Found an our energy potion. Very nice. Uh, and we also found crits. This is extremely more important than the energy potion. Let's buy their own potion. You know, you know what? Energy potions should go over to this side. Because I don't know how we're going to fit them in this side. Uh, because I need to push everything one up. And it just does not fit. Unless I push the Impractical Artistroid one more up. Which that does actually fit. And then everything else follows. Yeah, I, I guess I'm going to do reorganize time again. Okay, back. Uh, I, I invested the Lucky Piggy on the carrot because I think we, with just at this point, with I think with seven luck, we have a percent chance because it's three times five. That's 15 luck at the uh, 15, uh, whatever luck we have times three <coughs> times 15 actually is how much crit chance we have. So if I have six luck times 15, that is a 90% chance to crit. So at seven luck, we have a 100% chance to crit. So we don't need that much luck anymore. That's why I, I don't need this here because I don't need this to fire that often. And uh, let's go. And I also have this now min max. So we're going to get so much more mana that we should be building up luck anyway. And this is a vampirism build. Can I please find a poison build which I'm supposed to literally counter? Oh, this fired right away. I did that for oh, 121. One more hit. Oh, no. They're healing too much. Nice. 105. One more hit. Nope. Not, that's not going to be enough. Nice. 131. Very nice. Nice. And I got 7 Empower, by the way. At, uh, at 8 Empower, this starts firing even faster. This is so fun. I do enjoy this. Uh, three, 400 damage done, man. 400 damage done. Can I please fight the Poison build? Please. Uh, give me this. You go here. You go here. Uh, theoretically, I should not have energy, by the way. Should I give mana? I guess I could put it... I mean, this is not a good spot. Where could I put this? I guess here is where I could put it. 
should give us some mana. The idea with mana is getting a bunch of luck. I don't think I care about this that much. I mean... I gain mana and mana gives us luck. Roll him. Attack speed. This should definitely be put on the Impractical Detroit. Although I can't really do that. I guess it's gonna go to the Torquilla. But even then, I, I can't do that either. Uh, I'm really thinking... Oh, how could it fit this? My voice is getting destroyed. Uh oh, <coughs> I can't talk. It is what it is. Uh, let's let's give it to this, I guess. I don't know. Also, min maxing room is important. Let's roll. I could go for this. Opponents are three percent or less life. Just get exploded. Obviously, put it on a practical right sword. Uh, do I? No, I want attack speed. I have faster luck gain. Definitely yes. Roll him. Starting more, with more luck, also definitely yes. And uh, roll him. Even more of that. Uh, let's go. Maybe second start, the large sword could also work out, by the way. Right down here. Smack him, boom. 88. Oh no, we got reflected. And I, what, is, what are they? Oh, they have the... Yeah, they have the gen lab explosion. This is a new build that's going around. I might play this tomorrow. So the idea is that... Panzer Kitty. The idea is that you um, you fire this thing very fast at the start of the game. You get a bunch of spikes really quickly. This gives you a bunch of luck really quickly. And then you just have a bunch of things to buff your uh, crit wood stuff. And then you have guaranteed crits because that's what the stuff does in the first place. Right? So you attack once. This spends four mana. And then these here fire because they say when mana is used, they fire. So they give you a bunch of luck and then a bunch of spikes from this thing. Then you instantly activate the gin lamp and then this does insane damage right away. So that's also a build I would like to do. But for now, we still stick to what we have. I got the Narging Store Killer. I would say we buy this. Maybe put it here. So it hits pretty much everything, as always. You can go a bit away. You can flip like that. And uh, let's roll him. No, let's roll him. Another Heroic Potion. Do I need another Heroic Potion? I mean, actually, no. We need more attack speed. For these to be important. Although, although, what I'm thinking is I should remove all my stamina packs. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually remove a stamina pack and buy the potion. Because with less stamina packs, we're going to start with less energy. And uh, the idea is to uh, actually, <coughs> you know, activate these potion because I won't have enough energy. Uh, also, these should be below. Something like this. Yeah, this can be at the very top, whatever. Something like that. Do I care about the stone skin potion? I guess. Let's roll him. Nice. That's actually extremely lucky. Let's sell this. No, no, let's sell this stupid thing. It's my attack speed. And I guess it needs to go here. As I don't see anywhere else where it could go. Nice flip on that. Uh, oh no, they don't fit. You go here for sure. You go like that. Yeah, I don't have room for these. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just a garlic. Like, who cares? I can definitely fit this. Here you go. Everything fits. And even more mana for even more luck. Do I care about it this much? I mean, we already have three of them. And then also a mana orb. We should really be gaining luck extremely fast. Uh, let's go. And I want to remove as many of these energy stamina packs as I can. It's a Thorin Vampirism build. Six energy now. Let's go. Fire. 70 damage crit. Next one. We got our potion. 121 crit. Come on, next potion fire, boom, 120. We're at 9 stamina, now we start attacking fast. Oh, we, they got us. No, 55, if that was a crit, we would have won. They resisted the crit. They literally resisted the crit. Yeah, because we had 100% crit chance. They they were so lucky, man. They literally resisted the crit with the cap of resilience. Yeah, because we did 55, it would have been 140 and they would have died. I had my 11 in power, by the way. The, the cap of resilience saved them. That was extremely unlucky on our end. Fun, our impact, that destroyed. I mean... Theoretically, I could throw this just in. Throw the Shield of Valor away. Just drink all these potions and then we're gonna just start both firing very fast. Should I do that? Just go with a double boom, 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 dead. You know what? Let's try this. Let's try this. It's extremely stupid. But I'm gonna try this. Well, we, we might lose anyway. It's not like we have that much control over what's happening in the first place. So uh, let's buy this. For sure. Especially because it's on sale. Let's put it here. So that would be something like this. Nice. I want these to both activate. So we have like an insane crit chance. And you can have the attack speed. You can be whatever. And starting luck against this. Nice. 
And even more crit chance. I don't think we need it. I think we're already mad like crazy without that crit chance anyway. Roll them. I would like more energy potions though. Uh, definitely buy more room as we have room issues. Attack speed. I mean... Here, yeah, it fits. Here you go. And even more starting luck. Once again, we want the guaranteed crit chance. And again, forget that. Even more attack speed. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? So the idea is we want to smack the opponent the fastest way possible. And these are all going to be drunk very fast. I don't care about the stone skin potion anymore, by the way. Uh, let's hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. We might lose. I mean, the game is already won. Okay, it's a vampirism build, so it was a good decision to just go with burst. Let's see how this is going to go. Just drink everything. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, fire both again. Boom, boom. One more hit and we win. Ah, we lost. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, makes sense. The build is a meme anyway. In the previous fight, if I had the double sword, we would have won. But it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. So, in Endless, we lost as predicted. I mean, the w main play with the Impractical Large Sword in general. By the way, you know what was the most unlucky part? We didn't find a single poison. Like, I was teching against poison and we didn't find a single poison upon. This is extremely unlucky. That's the one thing I have to say. Otherwise, it makes sense. Impractical Large Sword isn't really a late game build, to be honest. I mean, it is if you have healing on this. But I wanted, as I said, to counter the poison builds. Very unlucky that we didn't find a single one. Also pretty unlucky that we found 50,000 Bloodthorn builds. Back to back. These things are very fast, burst-wise. Uh, so, yeah, I guess it is what it is. Also, specifically, this one had double Bloodthorn. So I guess the double in Precular Sword was a correct play at the end. But it is what it is. We won. Um, plus four. I guess the game doesn't give you that many points if you don't actually win in Endless. You were supposed to just bank the win and go. But we're never gonna bank the win ever because I don't care about ranking. I care about having fun and playing as much as possible. So I hope you guys agree with this. Um, yeah. That's going to be it for today. Still enjoying the Impractical Arts Sword. I'm, I'm waiting for this thing to get buffed. Nobody's using it whatsoever. Honestly speaking. And as you see... Yeah, I mean, I think we mostly lost because of unluckiness. How many Reapers did I even fight in this run? Did I even fight a single Reaper? I think we fought like five or six Rangers back to back. I might be wrong about this. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.